All right, I hit, sorry, I had stopped the video. Scout had started up the power washer. I knew the water wasn't turned on. I wanted him to make sure that he knew it was, wasn't turned on. Anyways, so you can see, look at the job that that weed killer did. How brown that is. Compared, if you look back at our old video, I, I might see if I can connect the, the video somehow. I, I'm, I don't really know how to do that stuff yet, but anyways, you can see how great it did. I mean, I missed a few spots here and there, but overall, look at it. It's awesome. So this stuff was done uh, about a week ago. And then this area, um, this area over here was also same time over here, but this area is a little bit behind for the weed killer that is. So, same thing with the back patch, but I'm, I'm going to walk back there real quick. I say real quick. I'm moving pretty slow. Like I said, 34 hours in the last three days. And that's not including the drive time down there. It's a half hour down, half hour back, obviously. So, let's go out here and take a look at... Maybe I didn't mix up the weed killer appropriately or something, because... I would have thought that area would have been a little a little more, but we did get some rain a day after I sprayed it, but that doesn't usually matter. Let's see what's happening out here. Well, the plants are all growing pretty good, I can see. It's hard to see them on the video compared to what I'm looking at. Because they were like three, four inches tall now. Some of them are a foot tall. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's right, because around these I just went around the plants. So you can kind of see, you know, how it's all these weeds here. I didn't do anything in between the rows, I just did circles around the plants, so that was good. Alright, it's real windy today or else I would spray some weed killer now. But at least I got all this area I can I can run the shit, I can run the lawnmower through here if I want. Which I might do that. Um but uh, I run the rototiller for sure. Yeah, we're looking better. A lot better. All right. Let's go back to the veggie garden, actual veggie garden, which I don't use any weed killer in our veggie garden. All these old implements. Well, I shouldn't say old. We use them all. This area is just a disaster back here. This pile, that that pile is from Robert. Brought out the skid steer a couple times, and pretty much every time he brings out a skid steer, he gets he managed to get it stuck. So seems like we end up doing more damage than productivity, but it's all good. It's all fun. Gives us something to laugh about. Zucchini plants are out here are going pretty well. Although these mountains need to be weeded. Again, I just haven't had time. I'm so busy. I got another call, two, actually a couple calls. We had an ad go out, business ad. Uh, and the phone's been ringing still. So zucchini plants finally taking off really well, really well. Cucumbers. Doug McMillan said that he's already got people got cucumbers up, you know, six inches long and stuff on his. Some of his people, but they're getting up there and they're trellising, so that's good. Let's see if we see any cucumbers. Now there wouldn't be any cucumbers. I don't even have any flowers, so I'll tuck this up in the fence, help it, help train it. Same thing with this one. Sorry for the grunt and bending over, I'm pretty sore. Anyways, yeah. Still might be overpopulated, the pole beans doing their thing. This box looks terrible, unproductive. Oh man, I gotta do, go out here and do some weeding again. This tomato plant. Got lots of tomatoes. I already got three tomatoes on it. Look at this falling over. Better adjust it. There we go. 
cabbage plant. Looks like something's eating the leaves. There's probably some seven on it or something. This is looking good. Not bad. Not bad. I can see I gotta do some weeding though. Some of these plants look wilted. I think this one looks a little wilty. I know Doug said he's got some kind of tomato virus. Looks like this one might have. I see a couple orange leaves on there. <clears throat> Anyways. Hopefully the next day or two I can get out here and give it some love and get, get rid of these weeds and stuff, you know. It'll take me an hour messing around. Have a couple cold refreshments and actually enjoy the fruits of my labor. So anyways, things are looking good. Glad that weed killer. Glad I got on it. And I'll run that rototiller here pretty quick. <clears throat> anyways, <coughs> sorry. I'm sick. I'm not sick. I'm just tired. Let me uh Yeah, my in-laws <coughs> store in there. Legends trailer. It's gonna be it's for sale. As soon as they I don't know, they're using it for storage right now. They're either buying a house or building a house. Look my own lawn is way overdue for mowing and hedges and stuff need to be trimmed. Isn't that crazy? I can get everybody else's stuff done, but not my own. They say the cobbler's son has no shoes or something like that. But uh anyways, yeah, that trailer's gonna be for sale and uh the Legends is all aluminum, so it's really light for the size. It's 27 feet, I think. <clears throat> it's going to be, uh, I want to say they paid 10 or 12 grand for it. They're going to sell it as soon as they figure out their house. You know, they're building a house and they don't need it anymore, supposedly. We'll see. Scouts power washing the equipment before we take off to go get it dirty again. We got it really dirty towards the end of the last week, so I said, you know what, we need, I don't want to show up on properties with dirty stuff right away so he's washing everything real quick x marks back in action skag tiger cat 2 this is troy built this is troy built is sweet and uh just do a quick wash job blew the trailer out stuff so anyways you know, I've never really done a video. I had done a video, but it didn't, couldn't load it for whatever reason. But this is the inside of our trailer. So this is what we got. We have a steel FS94R. This thing is awesome. Um, steel KM110R Combi. And then this is the Echo PE, I think it's 225 or 235. 230 Edger Curve Shaft Edger. Anyways, uh, so I got a bed. That's the bed redefiner, chainsaw, hedge, the uh, actuating, uh, articulating hedge clippers on the combi right now. Got my rake here. This at least one rake. One rake here. Um, Notice I have these like little clips kind of holding the combi stuff. We we have like another spot for some other equipment. I also have a weed whacker head for the combi and a um, um, power room, I guess. The, the rubber paddled one, it's up here. I don't know if you can see, I, it's just so big, it's better to be back here. And I also have a cultivator, it's back there in a the corner. Just with it there and the new Tiger Cat, it's, it's Tiger Cat's pretty wide and stuff, and it gets pretty close to hitting that stuff. So, anyways, and on this side we got the it's the it's not the BG86, it's the SH86C. 